What's going on, people? It's Shimanda YB back once again. So, we got a leak from the zone. Now, I'm gonna have to make this thing super small because the Dizone pagans are something else with a copyright. Anyway, so Eddie Hearn reacts to Ryan Garcia smoking on Devin Haney and Team Garcia, they pull up on Eddie. But Eddie, to be fair, he holds the line. Eddie holds the line. He holds the line, tells him to F off. So, listen, watch. 100%. Big respect to Ryan Garcia. He was amazing. I thought, well done. Well done. Oh, really? Fuck you. You fuck you. Fuck you. You came my son, you piece of shit. What are you talking about? You might fuck you. You know you're a piece of shit. And that's what you get. Now what are you going to say? Who can, bro? Who can? That fucking Devin Haney? Fuck you. Now who you got? Who do you got? Jerron Ennis. Jerron Ennis. Who? Jerron Ennis. How about Pitbull? You know he's good. Jerron Ennis is good. They're all good. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, we know where Ryan Garcia gets it from, yeah? This dude off the drink. And whatever else. He got the shades on. He, he exposed people. He out in the light with the shades on. He had 2 2 whatevers, 2 2 line, 2 2 JD and Coke. He faded. He geeked as well. Imagine your son's just had a massive kind of breakout fight and not even. He didn't, Ryan Garcia didn't beat Devin Haney on points. Yeah, people have been telling me, why be? He got it wrong. You said it was a knockout. It was a knockout. Ryan Garcia knocked him spark out. It's not my fault that Devin Haney and the referee were in cahoots, is it? Yeah, it's not my fault Devin Haney ankle grabber. I ain't asked Devin Haney big ass to get in there and grab dude's ankles. If Devin Haney weren't do no grabbing, his ass been knocked out. And that's what I'm reporting. He got knocked out, bottom line. If the referee were in there, Allowing him to grab to death, he'd be knocked out. So he's not got knocked out. We ain't doing this revisionist history. We're not making things up, people. We're not having it where, oh, it was a point. It was not a point. He got knocked out, people. Yeah, just because these goofy rules are in there, why should I? Not right. The rules saved Devin Haney. That's not right. Yeah, this is boxing. It's not clinching. We've got sports for that. There's wrestling people, right? Why mix the sports? In fact, even better. We've now got wrestling. We've now got mixed martial arts. Let me say it again. Mixed martial arts. If you want to be doing the punching and the grabbing and the clinching, go to mixed martial arts. This is boxing. You throw hands or you tuck your hands in nice and tight. That's what you do in my opinion. Yeah? And if you ain't doing that and you clinging onto people's legs and you clinging on everywhere, you got knocked out. Bottom line. That's just what it is. Yeah? And go take up mixed martial arts. Go take up wrestling. That's what you should do. This is the hand game that I'm focused on. And if you don't fall in line with that, you got knocked out. So that's what happened to Devin Haney. He got knocked out. Anyway, so Ryan Garcia's dad, he geeked. 2-2 two -two line. 2-2 two -two Kinahan. 2-2 two -two JD and Coke. 2-2 two -two Diddy's Moody Ciroc. <laughs> I've heard about, Allegedly, Diddy putting some in the Ciroc. If you go to a Diddy party, yeah, he put some... In this at rock. And Rick Ross been told you this year. I put Molly all in her champagne. She ain't even know it. I took her home and enjoyed that. That's what Diddy said to Devin. Yeah, he put Molly all in his shit. He ain't even know it. And we I don't want to say no more. Yeah. Diddy been took Dev home and enjoyed that. Allegedly. Yeah. Evidentially. Hundred percent. So like I said, Ryan Garcia's dad, he offered two two Kinahan. He offered 2 2 JD and Coke. He offered 2 2 Moody Diddy Ciroc. And he faded. And then his son smoked Devin. He just super geeked with it. Yeah? Eddie Hearn comes in all political. That's the thing about Eddie Hearn. Eddie Hearn talked a whole bunch before the fight. Oh, Dev gonna smoke him. Eddie Hearn's a shill. That's the truth. He's a promoter, but he's still a shill because Eddie Hearn was sucking off Carrot Top, Canelo. Yeah? And then Canelo mugged him off and pied him off. And now Eddie Hearn's all about Bivol. No Eddie. Yeah? Bivol deserved the Carrot Top rematch at 168. Yeah? And you was out here shilling. Oh no, it needs to be at 175. For what? If Bivol, who is now Carrot Top's daddy. Yeah? Fact. Bivol is Carrot Top's daddy. The daddy. I tell you where we're fighting at. Yeah? You're mine. That's my ass. That's my orange ass. Bottom line. I could tell you it's at 132. That's where you have to meet me. Oops. 
Eddie Hearn out here, oh no, 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 it's not right. People aren't going to give Canelo credit if he does it at 168. What are you on about? If Bivo makes weight at 168 and Carrot Top makes weight at 168, who ain't going to give no one credit? I'll say fair enough. Yeah, if Carrot Top beat Bivol at 168, we can all say, oh, it was just the weight then that saved Bivol the fir- the, in the first fight. We can completely, we can almost completely discount the first Bivol win just down to weight, right? So if anything, it makes Carrot Top more legitimate. Oh, Carrot Top only lost because Bivol was too big. Carrot Top, Mr. Mexican style, fake Mexican style, he didn't want to do nothing. And Eddie Helm was backing that. So Eddie, start acting brand new. Like, you're all confused why people got up. Or why people are bent out of shape. Because before the fight, no doubt, Eddie Hearn riding Devin Haney. Sorry, Eddie Hearn riding Diddy Haney. Yeah? Devin Diddy. 100%. Eddie, stop acting brand new like you weren't riding Diddy Haney. Sorry, Devin Diddy. <laughs> Devin Diddy. Diddy Devin. Diddy, <laughs> Diddy Devin. Yeah, that's the fact, people. Yeah? I don't know who Devin Haney is anymore. All I know is Diddy Devin. Devin Diddy, that's his name from now on. Devin Diddy. Hey, Devin Diddy, how's it going? Now, all, listen, all jokes aside, yeah. Ryan Garcia versus Devin Diddy. It was a good fight. Ryan Garcia's pops, he geeked, he pulled up on Eddie. Eddie, he, he, I mean, he was with it. He was kind of with it. I think he was a bit nervous, I ain't gonna lie. He was a bit nervous, but I think Eddie's learned, because of social media, Eddie's learned how not to get checked, right? Eddie learnt, hey, I did a video the other day, people. We all saw Frank Warren. Frank Warren's a bit long in the tooth, right? <laughs> Frank Warren's a bit long in the tooth. He'd been around. He'd been been around. All the rounds. You understand? He long in the tooth, meaning that he ain't so sharp with it anymore. He ain't sharp. So when Muhammad Turkey Sheikh Billiment Salman Prince, when Muhammad Turkey Sheikh Salman Prince gripped up his hand, Frank's just like, oh, I'm getting violated. Eddie, he posed up, he put his hands in his blazer pocket, and at like nothing going on like this. Eddie was like this, just hoping not to get violated. My point, that's what we saw here. So when Eddie gets checked here, he says his response is, oh, F off. He says F off. I believe that's more of a social media reaction though. He don't want to get violated on camera. Yeah. I don't think Eddie really with it like that. But I might be wrong. Listen, I don't know. Eddie's a big guy. Would you respect? I think he's like 6'4 or something. So, so I mean, this dude here, Ryan Garcia's pops, man. I, I reckon he probably gets... I reckon Eddie... All due respect, I reckon Eddie Hearn probably smoked this dude. I ain't gonna lie to you. I don't care how many years this dude been around boxing. I'd back Eddie to whoop this dude. He's too small. He too small. He too geeked as well. He, in, he inebriated. Yeah, we don't know what did he put in that Ciroc, right? So he can't... Is this man conducive to a fight? I wouldn't have thought so. Yeah? How many dudes have lost their ass to Diddy's Moody Ciroc? We don't know. So if a man can't defend his booty hole, who's to say that this cat here who's been off the Moody Ciroc, what's he going to do in the fight? Yeah? None of them man can fight back when, when you're off that Moody Ciroc. Do you understand? So I'll back Eddie. Eddie versus Ryan Garcia's pops off the Moody Ciroc. I'm backing Eddie for sure. That's what you best believe. I'm back in Eddie. But still, Eddie held the line. He held the line, bottom line. Yeah, he held the line, bottom line. Yeah. And then this dude, all due respect, it wasn't Eddie who went. Eddie starts off with the whole political thing. Oh, congratulations to Ryan. And then Ryan Garcia's dad goes off. And then Eddie backs it. He backed the beef. And it was Ryan Garcia's dad who went moist at the end and started trying to hug the dude. Look. So Eddie's on it here. Eddie's on it here. And then look. Oh no, who who initiated the handshake first? Might have been Eddie actually. Maybe Eddie went a bit moist actually, ain't gonna lie to you. Yeah, so Eddie Eddie went with a handshake. Oh Eddie tried to de escalate the situation with the handshake. Yeah? De escalation people. Anyway, it's a funny video. Um let's watch it one more time. It's a shame you can't see it, but if you go on Michael Benson's page, it's on there. It's, um, Big respect to Ryan Garcia. He was amazing. I thought, well done, well done. Oh really? Fuck you. You fuck you. Fuck you. You pay my son, you piece of shit. What are you talking about? You might fuck you. You know you're a piece of shit. And that's what you get. Now what are you gonna say? Luke Campbell? Luke Campbell? And fucking Devin Haney? Fuck you. Now who you got? Who do you got? Jerome Ennis. 
<laughs> Eddie, to be fair, Eddie tried to play a bit of a trump card there. He went draw on Ennis. <laughs> and then Ryan Garcia's dad says, who? Who? <laughs> but I don't think Ryan Garcia's dad was doing it to be like, he actually don't know who he is. I don't know who he is. I swear to God. Yeah. I've never claimed to be a hardcore boxing fan, but I'm telling you now, I've never heard of B Boots Ennis. I ain't never watched one of his fights, not even one of his fights. I heard some news about him when he was calling Crawford out. I thought, let me check out this goofball. I watched his highlights. Oh, the dude's whack. The dude is whack. He's whack. Can't do nothing. Boots Ennis. He just fight bums. He ain't fought no one. That's what he hadn't done. He needs to fight someone. But yeah, is Boots Ennis a trump card? <laughs> Ryan Garcia claims he can't make 147 so, or 140 anymore, so I don't know, but Boots Ennis, listen, all due respect to Ryan, he fights everyone. He fought Devin. He fought Tank. Boots is like Boots, though, isn't he? Like, I don't know. Devin's better than Boots in terms of clout. I just don't know who Boots is. Boots need to have some proper fights first. Yeah, I need to see him in there with someone coming to win. I ain't seen that yet. So, I need to see Boots in there with some kind of... I don't even know who's knocking around at 147 now, but I need to see something from Boots before he gets into the Ryan Garcia sweepstakes. But listen, Ryan Garcia might surprise us all. But I'd have thought Ryan Garcia versus Tiafimo versus Pitbull. I mean, Ryan Garcia's dad here said Pitbull. I mean, I, I ain't gonna lie. Like, I mean, Tank Davis outboxed Pitbull, but Pitbull ain't no punk. He ain't no punk. He ain't playing like that. He ain't gonna be caught like Devin, I don't believe. But then again, Pitbull's more hittable than Devin. He's got better defense, but when you've got these, when you've got the high guard here, you're basically a moving target. Well, everyone's a moving target, but you're a, you're a target, and uh, Pitbull's so small, he has to come forward. And when you're coming forward, you've got the high guard. You're almost like a heavy bag to someone with the speed of Ryan Garcia. Equally, though, Pitbull ain't just going to stand there. He ain't just going to stand there and get teed off on. Also, we know Pitbull can bang. Pitbull has elite punch resistance. He can just walk through people like it's nothing. He also has elite aggression and also arguably elite punching power. He can be on you like a dog. So if Ryan Garcia wants it, it's an interesting fight. Would you back Ryan to win? Probably. But it's going to be a tough fight. Except no Devin Haney. Devin Haney ain't tough. He ain't. Devin Haney don't come to fight. Devin Haney come to... Politic, yeah? Devin Haney come tickle someone booty. That's how it looks to me. When you watch Devin Haney boxing, you see him, or I envision him with what... Listen, Devin Haney boxing is like a Devin Haney versus Diddy session. It's all like, ooh, ooh, ooh. It's all touchy-feely, right? Oh, man, you know what? Tickle my nuts. That's how it look. Imagine a dude gently tickling, tickling someone nuts. That's how Devin Haney be boxing, right? People went with that. Pitbull ain't tickling no one's nuts. Even if you manage to outbox him, he ain't tickling nuts though, right? There's some man who get outboxed and they're kind of political with it. Pitbull never been that guy. Even if you say, I think Pitbull beat Tank, but even if you say Tank beat Pitbull, yeah? Pitbull went in there to getting tickled. Or wasn't tickling. And I think that Pitbull lost to the Mexican guy as well, for what it's worth, but he, st he was still trying to get it. He wasn't discouraged. Anyway. Let me know your thoughts, people. Smash the like button, subscribe, and let off the bell 100%, no doubt.